okay uh, in this problem a riser in the shape of a sphere is to be designed for sand casting mold the casting is a rectangular plate rectangular plate with a length is equal to 200 mm width is equal to 100 mm and thickness is equal to 80 mm if the total solidification time of the casting itself is known to be 3.5 mm determine the diameter of the riser so that it will takes 25% longer for the riser to solidify okay, okay this is the a mold for this uh, cushion here this is the casting the rectangular plate then this is the riser spherical riser so then the molten metal uh, when pour into the sprue first due to the gravity it enters to the runner system main runner so then it enters to the Uh, riser at the same time it enters to the cavity product cavity area okay here uh, if the let's take uh, total solidification time of the casting let's take the other value what should be the solidification time of the riser total solidification time of the riser should be equal to 25% uh, greater than so that means 1.25 times total solidification time of the casting okay in that way we have to design this diameter that o r value radius of the sphere here the casting product is the shape in a rectangular plate shape let me draw the diagram for the casting product. This is the shape of the casting. Its uh, dimensions are given. Here the 200 millimeter. Here it is uh, 100 millimeter. So then 18 millimeter. Okay. Then the problem also given. Uh, its total solidification time of the casting itself is known to be 3.5 minutes. Why that data is given? That means this uh, total solidification time of the casting is given 3.5 minutes. 3.5 minutes. Why that data is given? To find the uh, mole constant. Okay. To find the mole constant. Okay. First of all, let's find the mole constant. Okay. Then I am going to use the Torino's rule to find the mole constant. Total solidification time of the casting is equal the mole constant V divided by A into N. The total solidification time of the casting is given 3.5 minute. The CM mole constant we are going to find that one. So then the volume. Volume we can easily calculate uh, for this product rectangular shape product and the cubical shape. Uh, shape product so then uh, you can calculate uh, I have that uh, calculated value in uh, cubic uh, millimeters divided by surface area also cubic so is five millimeters into two Okay. In this equation, the CM by making the CM and uh, we can by simplifying this uh, equation, we can find the CM. The CM mole constant is equal to 0 0.0697 uh, minute per square millimeter. Okay, minute per square millimeter. Okay. Then we are going to determine uh, R value of the riser. Okay. We can calculate. First of all, we can calculate the total solidification of the riser. 
total solidification time of the riser is equal 1.25 into total solidification time of the casting 3.5 this value is equal to 4.375 okay then uh, what is the if you take the sphere what is the total volume volume of the sphere if this radius as r is the volume of the sphere then what is the surface area of the sphere is the total surface area okay then we are going to apply the chorinus rule to find this r value the total solidification time of the riser is equal mole constant into v divided by a into square this is known 4.375 is equal cm already we have calculated that value 0.0697 the volume what is the volume 5r into cube divided by 4 5r square into square okay let me simplify this equation 4.375 divided by 0.0697 into square is equal 4 we can cut this one also we can cut r r divided by 3 then uh, by simplifying this uh, equation we can calculate the r value so r is equal 23.768 uh, millimeters so then the diameter we can double of this one the 47.54 millimeters that mean if we can if we are having the riser with the diameter of uh, spherical riser with the diameter of uh, 47.54 mm so then its a uh, solidification time is uh, 25% greater than the cast uh, solidification time of this casting Okay, this is how we are solving this problem. Okay, thank you.